Hey guys, this is Be Outside again, hitting you guys up with another video. Um, yeah, it's another workshop video. Um, it's dark outside, and I decided I wanted to shoot a video, and I, it's basically all talking. Um, I basically wanted to explain why you should buy a particle separator, the SMB one, the SMB particle separator. The number one reason is because it it filter it filters a bunch of the dust before it hits the air filter. The reason you would want that is because when the air filter gets really clogged, you one, you lose horsepower. Who likes losing horsepower? And more dirt can get passed into your engine. And you guys know what happens to uh, engines that get a bunch of dirt in them. Yeah, you need to end up rebuilding them or they blow up. Which is bad. You do not want that to happen. So, people will call the SMB particle separator an engine saver. It's, it, it saves it saves engines. It saves money. The reason it saves money is because it saves your air filter from getting super duper, you know, clogged. And you guys don't want that because if it's clogged, you lose horsepower. And if it's clogged, you can get dirt past your uh, your air filter in your engine. Um, my personal experience, I basically it came with a machine and. I thought it was annoying and loud, and the guy we bought it from, he said, oh, you may want to actually take it off. I never even, I never ended up taking it off. I ended up searching it up, figuring out what the heck this thing was and what it did, and I figured out that it did the whole air filter thing. Oh, I was like, oh, that's cool. And then on the forums, I noticed that people were saying, you should, you should definitely have one. So I ended up, get, I ended up keeping it, and I'm definitely not regretting it. I've seen people's air filters before where they're super clogged and they're like ends up being like two times the weight of the regular air filter with dirt and it's bad and at that point you have to replace it because it's just so full of dirt and these filters ain't cheap the the uh, Polaris premium ones are $70 each I'm not interested in spending that much um, I originally was running a K&N style filter so you guys are aware um, I would not recommend running one of those um, because it lets small particles pass. Um, the Polaris one doesn't. Well, back to the subject. I, it, oh, it stayed pretty clean in there. I opened it up once. Uh, I remember it was about maybe 1,500 miles or 2,000 miles. And it looked pretty good in there, as I remember. Um, I'm not completely certain. But it looked way better than I was expecting. Um, here I can show you the air filter that came out of there in just a sec. It is, it's actually still pretty clean. It probably needs to be re-oiled and stuff, but I'm not going to use it because I already switched to the Donaldson uh, Polaris Premium uh, air filter. Here, I'll go get it. Alright, so this is the air filter. It is pretty dirty, but it's not as bad as I expected for 2,400 miles. Um... I don't know when the guy put this on, but um, the reason it's kind of dirty, you see right here, is because um, the reason it's so dirty, as you guys can see here, um, I was kind of being dumb, and uh, I put my cage back on because I'm working on a new cage, and it ended up, uh, I ended up not putting it back on and just leaving it exposed. Dumb, dumb idea. Don't do that. Um, and it got pretty dirty in there. Okay, so back to the to the particle separator. If I were, if I were you guys, like, if you guys wanted to spend money on an audio system or something like that, put it towards a particle separator. Particle separator should be one of the first things you do to your machine, uh, besides safety. You want to get harnesses before you get this, but th th this is the second top mod. I would do to your machine because it'll save your engine. It'll, your engine will always be pretty healthy and you'll save money. I know it's it kind of expensive. I believe it's $400 for the 1.0, which is what I have. I have a 1.0. Uh, for maintenance, forgot to mention that, you're going to want to blow it out every whenever. I I never, I blew, I just blew mine out today and it wasn't even that full of dust. So you, you don't have to, but I would recommend doing it because... If you keep if you keep a lot of the dirt out, it won't go into the uh, into the tube to uh, go to the air filter. Um, so yeah, I do that. 
But uh, yeah, again, I hope you guys thought this video was helpful. Um, maybe I hopefully I convince you guys to want to get a SMB particle separator. Trust me, it's gonna save your engine. That's what everyone says. I I've even my filter has always been pretty clean, and it's working great. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.